Free kick then to Leeds United to be taken by Peter Haddock. Get uh, the attack away on the left there, but flipped away by Derek Manfield. Touched it well in the air. Benny Jones is racing across. I think he wants to take this uh, throw on. And Stratton pulls away. So uh, he'll be aiming for the six yard box probably. Short one to Strachan. Drives in the cross, much too deep. And good throw out by Nigel Speak, setting up the attack. Stuart Gray on the left. Ormondroyd racing on the flank there. Good ball, beautifully played just outside of Blake. Ormondroyd gets it across the shot. Oh, just past the post from David Platt. And that was beautifully worked on the left-hand side by Villa. Tremendous run this by Ormondroyd. Plays the ball square, and uh, probably David Platt had a little too much time. Begging with the throw. Jones. And down goes uh, Ian Baird into that challenge. Free kick then to Leeds United, just three yards outside the Villa penalty box. Referee Dennis Hedges is uh, keeping his arm down, so it's a direct free kick, I would think. Strachan there with his hands on his hips. Confusion there. Uh, <laughs> Stuart Gray wanting to get in, but uh, Leeds claiming the free kick hasn't been taken. It has now. Square, the shot coming in from Jones, and uh, nicely flicked away there. By Nielsen, but that was a tremendously well worked free kick by Leeds United. Leeds making a positive attempt to uh, get out of the second division this season. Gordon Strachan, as ever, directing operations. Here he is with the corner. Nielsen again getting up. Ball, uh, kept in play. Vinny Jones. involved in the uh, playmaking here for Leeds United. Chance here though for Tony Daly to set up attack. Oh, he slipped that challenge brilliantly. Daly's got the pace, being chased there by Whitlow. Gets free, can he get the cross in? He can. Norman Roy's coming in from the far side. Shot there from Orney. Oh, took it well on the turn. But uh, Irvin Day, the former Villa goalkeeper, in the right place at the right time. There's that cross again from Tony Daly. Going to Ian Olney. Does well to get the shot in. Irving Day had that corner cut. Again by Vinnie Jones. And good defending there by Tony Daly. Jones again. And Leeds United putting up a, a stern fight here against Aston Villa. Ormond Roy now trying to uh, penetrate. The defence, getting past Blake, he's done it well, gets a cross in, but sails behind. And Ormond Roy, the former Bradford City striker, took some time to settle down, but is beginning to show his true form here this season. So the final cross there, curling behind. And away by Haddock, but a free kick given to Villa. Forward. He's uh, holding this 
place in the centre circle there. Ahead of Noel Blake, a corner to Villa. Gordon Cowns, as always. Look for the near post ball. Number 11 there is John Henry. Picked across there. And a shot coming in from Gage. That was well worked, but uh, the final effort over the bar. Beautifully flicked on there. And uh, Leeds covering the big men. Gage coming in behind. This is Whitlow. Beglin. No confusion there. Whitlow again. Whitlow with a shot. Oh, and Spink couldn't hold it. Price is in there. Shot from Vinnie Jones onto the bar. And all sorts of problems there for Aston Villa. Well, they really uh, lost their bearings in defence. A free kick's been given, but uh, to ease the pressure. But uh, Villa finding it difficult to clear that ball. As uh, David Platt goes tumbling, beautifully struck shot that from Mike Whitlow. Price gets the touch in there, but it falls to Vinnie Jones. Hits it on the turn and off the crossbar. So a real let off there for Aston Villa. Well, after that uh, gritty first half, still haven't had the uh, deadlock broken. The tie must be decided here this evening because uh, there are no replays in the Zenith Data competition. As Ormondroyd goes through, that's a good shot from Ormondroyd. Cleared there by Chris Fairclough. Ormondroyd getting in to the edge of the box there, letting fly with that left foot. Crisp shot, which Day couldn't hold. And it was former Nottingham Forest defender Chris Fairclough who had to tidy up. Ormondroyd again there. Stopped by Fairclough. And turned back by uh, Mainfield. Over the top there from Olney. Oh, that was a good uh, chance there for the young striker. Ball played over the top. Blake didn't clear it. Dropped to Olney into his left foot and skies it over the bar. So Villa creating chances. Only again through to Gray. Gray going through, he scores! Brilliantly taken goal. Stuart Gray shoots Villa into a 64th minute lead here in this Zenith Data Cup semi-final, the Northern Area semi-final. And it was a fine goal, teed up there by Ian Olney. But what cool finishing this from the fullback. So it's Aston Villa 1, Leeds United 0. Strachan. Voice doing the covering. Nightfield, oh, didn't get hold of that one. This is Birch. Met by the head of Peter Haddock. Charging forward again. Right by Pearson. Mightfield read it well. Oh, Bobble just as he went to play it. Looked forward by Gage. Cross from Birch. Chance here. Oh, and over the bar, good goalkeeping by Mervyn Day to stop David Platt there. All played in, Platt took it in his stride. Waited for it to come down, but the keeper had his angles right. Birch. There was some uh, concern to the Leeds defence with these uh, penetrating runs of his. there, Platt going through, Platt brought down by the keeper surely, and he's the referee's pointing to the spot. Mervyn Day 
pleading his innocence, but uh, the referees are given the uh, penalty. Just coming up to the 77th minute, and no doubt about it, he took Platt's leg as he went wide, and it's Platt who'll take the uh, penalty. Oh, beautifully struck. So it's Aston Villa 2, Leeds United 0, and I think that puts the issue beyond doubt. Flat, beautifully struck penalty. And Villa on their way to the final. <laughs>